Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Callin Harp and today I'm going to be showing you how I do some of my paintings that I do on rocks for my TikTok channel. If you're interested in seeing more, keep watching because I'm going to show you how I do a few of my famous designs. <laughs> Hi, first of all, please excuse the light in. It's a bit dodgy and it changes halfway through. I have the light on the left, so it's like sort of shadowed in areas, but please forgive me. So first of all, I'm collecting three rocks that I'm gonna be painting and showing you three different types of designs today. I have a variety of sizes and they're all types of different rocks too with different textures. I am then reaching for my micellar cleansing water and a wet wipe and I'm just cleaning all the rocks to get off the dirt. As you can see, some are more dirty than others and I don't actually remember where all of them came from oh actually I'm remembering now that one in the middle that I'm currently wiping is from my back garden <laughs> just continuing to wipe all the rocks just to oh excuse my nose in this shot but I'm just making sure that they're all clean ready to paint and then I'm reaching for a kitchen towel just to dry them off or any sort of tissue oh and excuse this chaos for a moment I'm changing my lighting and I thought I'd show you just so that you weren't all concerned when the lighting was suddenly a little bit better but still not great oh nice cable oh and we're ready to go so we're starting off with this small rock and normally I would not paint the flat side but today I've decided to paint the flat side which is definitely more professional of me and I'm actually really glad of this because later you'll see that this is the nicest rock of the three in my opinion so I start out by reaching for a pencil and starting to mark out my design as you can see I'm using references on Google Images this is going to be a wreath like a Christmas wreath and I decided to add some bells and berries which you'll see me painting a little later but to begin with you can see I'm just drawing two circles one smaller than the other and then I've added a little bow in the middle and little bells underneath the bow and then I reach for my palette which is just the lid off of my acrylics box and as you can see I'm using really cheapy acrylics so if you've got more expensive one it'll definitely help with this process because I've had to layer so many layers of paint to get good coverage which is also fine so here you can see I'm mixing a yellow and a turquoisey green shade together to make a nice wreath color I ended up adding a bit of dark blue into the mix too just to darken up the green I'm just painting the wreath to begin with just a circle and then I start adding the little bumpy bits around the edges just to give it a bit of like dimension and more of a leafy texture rather than it just being a round perfect circle and as you can see here I'm starting to paint the bow in a red shade I'm leaving the center of the bow to fill in with a Posca pen later because I wanted it to be a white center and then I'm coloring in the bells I wasn't too precise with this because I knew I was going to go around the bells with a Posca pen and here's the final rock apparently I didn't film any of the process of outlining this wreath but the outline just really adds to the look of this in my opinion and I'm just really happy with the way this one turned out but keep watching because I do outline the next two rocks well I wonder what I'm painting next <laughs> so I start again by using a pencil just to outline my design and this was a slightly longer process because it was a more detailed image as you can see here I'm just adding on his buttons and his arms and once I was done I'm just you know as you can see I'm rubbing a bit away that's the best thing about using a pencil on a rock it does rub away but I'm just adding the details I do paint over a lot of these but here he is little Olaf oh he's so cute so first thing I do is reach for a white paint um, luckily I just have white paint I didn't have to mix anything for this as you can see I'm painting over the buttons but you can just go over those again later with your Posca pen or whatever you want to do paint is fine too but I think Posca pens are so great because they just allow that extra precision and detail once I finished this base layer I started painting his mouth which I created this shade by adding a little bit of dark blue into my white and then I added a bit more shading by creating a grey which was just adding a bit of black into my white. I don't always add shading to my images because I quite like that simplistic cartoony look but I decided to do it for this one because it just added dimension to the image and made it actually look like Olaf. After painting his little buck tooth I started painting his orange nose. This was the most difficult part because his nose isn't actually pointing out on this image you just have to do it by shading and that was one of the other reasons why I decided to add shading and then I started to move on to my ombre sky I suppose this is something I love to do in my rocks because I feel like it just brings an image to life I'm just mixing like a few colors of my choice I mixed like a blue and a purple and a pink and you can just apply these however you like because they're acrylics you can just layer as much as you like on top I started with my blue and then I finally added the pink on 
on top just because the pink I wanted to be more vibrant and then I reached for my Posca pen once again and actually you can watch me outline this time so I'm just outlining and adding details like the buttons back on that I painted over I'm also adding his arms and then I finally move on to the head which was the hardest part because his eyes were just really difficult to do because his eyes were white like his snowy skin skin so in a short while you see me reach for my paintbrush again because I add a little bit of grey onto where his eyes will be just to add a bit of dimension and to make them look separate from his body. And as you can see here I'm just switching between my white and black Posca pen just to add details and also fix up any little mistakes I've made with the black Posca pen. The white Posca pen is really great for this one because obviously Olaf is white so it helps me like vi make any small details a bit more vibrant and that's just really helpful. Posca pens are the best. And here's the final design. I'm really happy with this one. I absolutely love the watercolour effect. It's one of my favourite things to do. So now we're going to move on to a slightly more simple design but more complex compared to the first one. The first one was like the most simple. For this one I'm actually starting my base with a Posca pen. I'm using a white Posca pen as the base because I'm doing a candy cane. I used a paint to begin with and then I was like oh no I could be more precise with a pen. So that's what you can see me doing here and then I'm just finishing up any little bits that are a bit opaque with a paintbrush and some white paint and then I reach for a red paint but I actually mixed this red using a hot pink shade that I have with red just to give it a bit more of a um, pop I suppose because the red I had was a cherry red and I wanted something a bit more deep. Anyway here I'm just marking out my stripes I'm not adding too much paint to begin with and then I start layering and this took quite a few layers of paint because my red is not very opaque so you can just see me doing that here and then after finishing painting I realized that the third stripe was a bit thick so I went in with my white Posca pen just to clean that up a little bit because I wanted to add a little face to this one. And now we're going to do one of my favourite designs which is the splash or splosh design and I just reach for my pencil again and start marking that out and I add some little details like little splash marks coming away from the main splash, splosh, splish, splash. Once I'd finished marking this out and I was happy with it, I moved on to start painting and I mixed a yellowy creamy shade for this. I don't know why, I just fancied this shade and it ended up being a lot darker after doing quite a few coats because I wanted it to be, you know, completely opaque and I wasn't too happy with the shade in the end. Oh, as you can see here, I got some red on my jumper so I had to dash and put that in the washing machine. But as you can see, I'm adding lots of layers onto this and I wasn't too happy with the color in the end. It ended up being a bit too yellow and didn't really have a very Christmassy vibe. But anyway, I'm just cleaning up the little white bits here and I add another coat of yellow, which I think was my downfall. It was just too yellow. As you can see, it turns into a big banana. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Anyway, following this, I reach for my Posca pen again and I start outlining the splosh on the outside before then finally outlining the candy cane itself and adding a little face to the candy cane. I also outline these little sploshes on the outside because they just add so much fun to this, in my opinion. And once I'd finished outlining and adding the little face, I reach for my white Posca pen to add a little bit of detail into the eyes of the little candy cane's face. And this is the final result. I am happy with it. It's not my favourite thing I've ever made, but I think it turned out quite cute and I'm looking forward to giving it to my boyfriend. And finally, I add the location where I collected the rock and the date that I painted the rock onto the back before getting my Mod Podge. And Mod Podge is the best because it seals in your paintings and you could even leave them outside um, if you wanted to do like a little, I don't know, something cute outside and it stops them from, you know, losing their paint. And I apply this all to the front and then once that's dried, I usually use a hairdryer to dry them more quickly and then as soon as that's dried, I paint the back too. And oh my goodness, here are the final three products. I think my favourite by far is the wreath, even though I still love the others. I just love how simple it is and how cute it turned out. I'm just so happy with these. If you guys are interested in seeing me reveal these to my boyfriend, this is something that I do on my TikTok channel. Make sure to go and check out my TikTok. I'll link it in the description right at the top so you can go and check them out. I'm going to be giving him a rock every day up until Christmas, like a Christmas countdown. Um, you guys seem to really love those videos, so I'm going to keep doing those. And I just hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I loved creating it. If you guys haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you would like to check out all my other socials, they'll also be linked down below. If you'd like to be notified for when and I'm uploading every week make sure to click that notification bell because I'd love to see you again here in the future thank you so much for watching I'll see you all next Sunday bye